These instructions will cover the installation of passive soil gas samplers using a hammer drill and drill bits to create the sampling holes. Actual sampling depths and sampling equipment used may be modified to meet project objectives. Drill an approximately one and a half inch diameter hole through the surfacing using a rotary hammer drill. This hole should be approximately 12 inches deep and extend below any subsurface aggregate material beneath the concrete or asphalt. The aggregate can act as a preferential pathway for lateral gas migration immediately beneath the impervious surfacing and it's recommended to sleeve the hole through this subgrade layer unless the objective is to identify subslab contamination regardless of the source location. When the approximately 12 inch deep hole has been completed, use a half inch diameter drill bit with a hammer drill to extend the hole to a three foot depth. While wearing nitro gloves, take a 12 inch length of one inch diameter pre-cleaned pipe provided in the kit and lower it into the sample hole to advance the pipe below the more porous subgrade material. Any portion of pipe above grade is cut flush with the ground surface using the provided pipe cutter. With a tapping dowel and a hammer, push or tap the pipe into the hole so it rests approximately one inch below the ground surface. Take a sampling cap from the sampling cap container and place it on the kit. Remove one of the PSG samplers and unwind the retrieval wire approximately six inches from the sampler. Remove the solid cap on the sampler vial and replace it with the sampling cap. Lower the sampler into the pipe and hang the coil of wire over the top and outside of the pipe. Take an approximately 12 inch length of aluminum foil from the box, form it into a ball, and plug the top of the hole with the aluminum foil. Using the tapping dowel and a hammer, push down or tap the aluminum foil into the hole so it forms a seal on the metal pipe and sits one quarter inch below the surfacing. Using a small putty knife, Cover the hole to grade with a one quarter inch thick concrete patch that was mixed ahead of time. This patch will dry and form a secure seal to prevent surface water or ambient air from biasing the sample. Place the solid cap in the cap storage container and close the field kit. On the provided chain of custody, record the field sample ID, the date and time of emplacement to the nearest minute, the sampling hole depth, the type of surfacing and other relevant information. Following the exposure period, return to the sample location and place the kit next to it. Use a small chisel or screwdriver and hammer to remove the concrete patch to expose the aluminum foil. The concrete patch is easily chipped out of the hole. Place a clean cloth or paper towel, wire cutters and screwdriver next to the sampling hole. Remove a solid shipping cap from the cap storage container and place it and a square of gauze cloth on the open kit. Remove the aluminum foil plug using the small screwdriver. Then, grab the wire hanging on the top of the pipe and remove the sampler from the hole. Holding the sampler upright, clean the sides of the vial with a clean towel, remove the sampling cap, and cut the wire from the vial with the wire cutters. Next, clean the vial threads completely with a gauze cloth. Take the solid shipping cap from the kit and screw it onto the sampler. With a ballpoint pen, record the sample number ID corresponding to the sample location on the cap's label. Note, do not use a Sharpie marker. Place the sealed and labeled sampler in one of the provided 3 inch by 4 inch plastic sampler bags. Record the sample number on the white block using a ballpoint pen. Then, place the individually bagged and labeled sampler into the larger bag labeled Return Shipment Bag and return this bag to the kit. Close the kit and on the chain of custody, record the date and time of retrieval to the nearest minute and other relevant information for that sample location. Review the provided kit return checklist. Place the kit in the original cardboard shipping box. Include the completed and signed chain of custody. Seal the box and ship the kit via express delivery to Beacon. 
please visit our website, beacon-usa.com, or contact us at 410-838-8780.